as Erie Fire and Police investigators are looking for the exact cause of a destructive weekend house fire on East 13th Street. Investigators say three young children were home alone when the fire broke out on Saturday morning. Tonight, our Lisa Adams found out, Lisa, the smoke and the flames could have been deadly for the youngest child, a three-year-old boy, but it was a closed bedroom door that really made the difference. How did that happen? Well, that's right, Eva. You know, one of the fire safety messages that firefighters always preach is close before you doze because a closed bedroom door can keep smoke out and breathable oxygen in in the early moments of a fire. And firefighters today showed us the pictures in this case to prove that it works. It was a destructive, smoky fire Saturday morning, a tough one for Erie firefighters in the wind. Fire officials say children 9, 5, and 3 were left home alone when it started. They know it began at the back. Now police detectives are helping piece together exactly how. So we had our arson investigator along with a uh, detective from the major crimes unit. Uh, we're deployed to the scene and uh, they're doing the follow-up investigation um, into the cause of the fire as we speak. Fire officials say the five and nine-year-old children were found outside after the fire started, but the three-year-old was trapped in a closed upstairs bedroom. And something they preach every day, close before you doze, may have saved the child's life. This is adjacent to uh, where the heaviest fire damage was. Uh, the room where the child was rescued is right here. Chief Fire Inspector Darren Hart showed us the difference between the heavily charred interior and the pristine bedroom where the three-year-old was found. A hollow core door, uh, which you would think would burn up in no time, uh, saved the day. How about that? That tells the tale of this whole, this whole fire, is that that door saved the day. If it would have been open, it would have been a whole different story. It's why firefighters always preach close before you doze, with videos like this one illustrating the fire spread with an open versus closed door. It's also why investigators in this case want answers. Well, this is a potentially... Uh, scary and life-altering situation for everyone involved so we're gonna we're gonna investigate this and uh, we're gonna take a look at uh, anyone that we believe is at fault or uh, you know accidental or or on purpose now the three-year-old we're told is in critical but stable condition tonight at Children's Hospital in Pittsburgh recovering from the smoke that he did inhale when their investigations are complete, Erie firefighters and police investigators will turn their findings over to the Erie County District Attorney for review. Live in the studio, Lisa Adams, Erie News Now.